Hello, my name is Alan Kilpatrick, and I'm an MLIS candidate at the University of Western Ontario. Marnie Harrington and I recently presented a poster at the 2013 Ontario Library Association Super Conference entitled Copyright and Canadian Academic Libraries. Currently, I'm in my final term of school. For my final term, I'm on an internship with the Hippocampus Reading Foundation in Bangalore, India. As I was unable to attend OLA in person, I Skyped in and presented the poster virtually, while Marnie presented the poster in person in Toronto. The poster presents an overview of the state of copyright in Canadian academic libraries. Copyright has become a major issue for post-secondary institutions over the past year. Many colleges and universities in Canada have had to make some serious decisions about copyright in their libraries. Copyright is a topic of growing importance for librarians. Effective information literacy and library instruction depends on a librarian's ability to access and share information with students and faculty. An excessive control of copyright by copyright owners might restrict our ability to do this. As a result, it's important that academic librarians learn about copyright. In March 2010, Access Copyright, a copyright collective, proposed a tariff to the Copyright Board of Canada called the Post-Secondary Educational Tariff. It was criticized by some who claimed it featured unjustified fee increases, overbroad definitions of key copyright terms, and troublesome reporting and survey requirements. Many organizations in Canada opposed the tariff, including the Canadian Library Association, the Canadian Federation of Students, and the Canadian Association of University Teachers. Some recent copyright events have improved the ability of post-secondary institutions to make use of copyrighted works. The new Copyright Act passed in June 2012 and expanded the fair dealing user right to include education, parody, and satire. Five significant Supreme Court decisions from July 2012 also provided some clarification on fair dealing. As a result, some copyright scholars assert that there is little copying done on campuses that necessitates an access copyright license. So, what does the future of academic copyright look like in Canada? Well, there are new and alternative ways to make use of copyrighted works, such as fair dealing, open access, and creative commons. There are many new opportunities for academic librarians in the copyright field, and institutions that chose to sign an access copyright license have the option of giving notice to terminate the agreement in the future. I first began exploring copyright in January 2012, when Western announced that it had signed an access copyright license. I began to research Canadian copyright in depth. As a student assistant librarian, at the Faculty of Information and Media Studies Graduate Resources Center, my supervisor, Marnie Harrington, encouraged me to continue researching copyright and present to students and staff at Western. In exploring the world of copyright, Professor Sam Trossout has provided me with a great deal of assistance and help. I presented Access Copyright, What Does It Mean for Western? A Librarian's Guide to a large group of Western students and Western Library staff members. In the presentation, I examined the details of Western's access copyright agreement and discussed how it affected Western and librarians at Western. When the Ontario Library Association began accepting proposals for posters, I was keen to submit one. If you have any questions about copyright, please feel free to contact me on email, through Twitter, or at my blog. Thank you.